here we discuss the next point the maxwell boltzmann distribution law in that article we explain firstly the most probable distribution of molecule and we find its relation the constants alpha and beta that we also finding here and finally we find a relation in terms of energies that relation we call maxwell boltzmann distribution law of energies now first find the most probable distribution of molecules and their relation for that purpose we considering a given gas assembly that consists of very large number of molecules all these gas molecules are identical and distinguishable and they have any speed such a molecules obey maxwell boltzmann statistic hence these number of molecules will satisfy all that characteristics these n molecules are distributed in this phase space hence that molecules we call here as a phase points if phase space is divided into number of cells numbered as 1 2 3 up to k cell in each and every cell we considering n1 is the number of molecules with energies u1 in the first cell n2 is the number of molecules with energies u2 in the second cell similarly up to nk number of molecules with energies uk in the k cell now we write some important conditions the first one is that if we suppose in given assembly the total number of gas molecules is always remain constant therefore we write the summation i equal to 1 to k in i remains constant and that is capital n if summation n i is constant then its derivative is zero summation i equal to 1 to k delta n i equal to zero and this is the first condition second condition is that the total energy of all molecules always remains constant the total energy is the sum of u1 n1 plus u2 n2 plus u3 n3 up to uk nk where u1 is the energy for the number of molecules n1 similarly u2 n2 and so on that term is constant therefore the derivative of that term the summation ui delta ni is always equal to zero this is the second condition third condition is that in equilibrium state the probability becomes maximum if probability is maximum then its derivative becomes zero that is delta w maximum equal to delta log w maximum equal to zero this is the equation c now we find the total probability of distribution w is equal to summation ni w equal to total probability of distribution is the product of thermodynamic probability and priori probability that relation is n factorial into the product i equal to 1 to k gi raised to ni divided by ni factorial now we take log on both sides and simplify that relation log w is equal to log n factorial minus i equal to 1 to k log ni factorial plus summation i equal to 1 to k ni log gi since the product term convert into summation when we take log for that term now we use stirling approximation and we find the term for log capital n factorial and log small n i factorial the term is log n factorial equal to capital n log n minus n similarly for log n i factorial we write the same formula and simplify the above equation log w equal to n log n minus n minus summation n i log n i minus minus become plus summation n i plus summation n i log g i here capital n 
and summation n i is same it get cancelled plus minus sign remaining terms we write here n log n minus summation n i log n i plus summation n i log g i now we differentiate this term on both side and take its derivative delta log w equal to delta n log n minus summation delta n i log n i plus summation delta n i log g i here for most probable condition log w is maximum hence its derivative becomes zero similarly n is capital n is constant therefore that term its differentiation is also zero and if we differentiate second term with respect to n i for first and second term that term we also simplify and the derivative of log n i is 1 by n i n i by 1 by n i delta n i that n i n i cancel delta n i is again zero hence remaining term only we write in the next step plus summation delta log g i delta n i log g i since g i is independent on the number therefore we differentiate only n i term therefore by using that condition the equation becomes minus summation i equal to 1 to k log n i delta n i minus summation i equal to 1 to k n i by n i cancel delta n i is again 0 plus summation n i log g i delta n i equal to 0. The two terms we write for the equation 2 minus summation log n i delta n i plus summation log g i delta n i equal to 0. Now we use the condition a and b. The condition a is summation delta n i equal to 0 multiply minus alpha to the equation a condition b is summation u i delta n i equal to 0 multiply minus beta to the equation b and we write in equation 2 therefore the equation 2 becomes minus summation i equal to 1 to k log n i delta n i plus summation i equal to 1 to k log g i delta n i minus alpha summation i equal to 1 to k delta n i minus beta summation i equal to 1 to k u i delta n i. Here if we take the delta n i common and write the remaining terms in the bracket for the summation i equal to 1 to k summation minus log n i plus log g i minus alpha minus beta u i this is the bracketed term outside we write delta n i equal to 0. Here as delta n i is not equal to 0 then the bracketed term must be equal to 0 since summation sign take on the other side it becomes 0. The bracketed term is 0 means minus log n i plus log g i minus alpha minus beta u i equal to 0. In that we separate log n i term it is log g i minus alpha minus beta u i. Now for the other side if we take the log outside then minus alpha term becomes exponential minus alpha and beta ui term becomes exponential minus beta ui therefore log ni equal to log into bracket gi into exponential minus alpha into exponential minus beta ui cancel log on both side and we get the equation first it is ni equal to gi e raised to minus alpha e raised to minus beta ui this equation represent the most probable distribution of molecules among the various energy states and that relation is known as maxwell boseman distribution law in terms of constant alpha and beta hence the next step is to find the constants alpha and beta firstly we find exponential minus alpha by considering the continuous distribution of the molecular energies that means the number of molecules those having energy between u and u plus du 
equal to n of u du equal to g of u e raised exponential minus alpha exponential minus beta ui du. Here the number of molecules having energy between u and u plus du we convert in terms of the momentum and in terms of the momentum the relation becomes as you know the relation between energy and momentum u equal to p square by 2m the equation becomes n, n of p dp equal to g of p exponential minus alpha into exponential minus beta p square by 2m dp. It means in the momentum space we find g of p dp. Now what is g of p dp? It is the priori probability that molecule has momentum in between p and p plus dp. Hence to find g of p dp in the momentum space that space is a spherical whose radius is p and thickness is dp. Hence the priori probability in terms of momentum g of p dp equal to integration of dx dy dz into integration dpx dpy dpz divided by h cube. That means the priori probability that the molecule have the momentum between p and p plus dp is equal to the number of cells in the phase space in that cell these number of molecules exist. Now what is integration dx dy dz? This is the volume of volume occupied by the gas in the three dimensional space and integration dpx dpy dpz it represent the volume of spherical cell volume of spherical cell in the momentum space that having the radius p and thickness dp it is equal to 4 pi p square dp and h cube is the volume of the small cell that is the term becomes g of p dp equal to 4 pi v p square dp by h cube. Now simplify this g of p dp in above equation and we write the equation in terms of the momentum n of p dp equal to 4 pi v p square by h cube into exponential minus alpha into exponential minus beta p square by 2 m dp. Now we solve the equation 4 by considering the total number of the molecules. Now how we calculate this total number of molecules? If we integrate this equation 4 from 0 to infinity, the integration of 0 to infinity n of p dp it gives total number of molecules. This term n capital N is equal to on the other side constant term we take outside 4 pi v by h cube into integration 0 to infinity p square exponential minus alpha exponential minus beta p square by 2m dp that integration we solve and we use the standard integration and simplify the constant e raised to minus alpha equal to n h cube by v into beta divided by 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2. This is one of the constant we determine here. Now we find the another constant that is beta for determination of that term we have to considering the total energy of the assembly of the gas molecule we firstly find that energy of the assembly of gas molecule we find if we integrate the above equation from 0 to infinity and multiplied by energy of the individual molecule it gives total energy u. Hence integration 0 to infinity u n of u du it gives capital U and it from that relation if we solve we get another constant beta equal to 1 by kt. Now the next step is substitute constants 
in the equation 4 that equation 4 is in terms of the momentum number of molecules those having momentum between p and p plus dp becomes after substituting e raised to a minus alpha and beta the equation becomes n of p dp equal to 4 pi n into bracket 1 divided by 2 pi m k t raised to 3 by 2 into exponential minus p square divided by 2 m k t into p square dp that equation we call the relation phi u. Now we find the equation phi u in terms of energies means instead of n of p dp we take n of u du hence we make the substitution by using the relation between energy and momentum p square by 2 m equal to u or p square equal to twice m u or p equal to under root twice m u differentiate p term with respect to u we get d, dp equal to m divided by under root twice m u du substitute in above equation and simplify that relation gives n of u du is equal to 2 pi n into under root u into exponential minus u by kt divided by pi kt raised to 3 by 2 du. This equation represent the Maxwell Boseman distribution law in terms of energy. Using that relation, we also find another relation in terms of velocity and we find the distribution of molecular speed from that relation. Before that, we discuss all that point. Here, what is Maxwell Boseman distribution law? What are the constants term alpha and beta? And if we simplify alpha and beta in that equation, we get the Maxwell Boseman distribution law in terms of momentum as well as energies. Thank you.